This is a tutorial on how to do an alpha title zoom like this. As quick and simple as possible. Now, traditionally, this is an After Effects title, and if you do it in After Effects, it will be better. But if you're anything like me, you want to keep things in Premiere Pro when we can, and this tutorial is going to show you how to do that. So let's jump into it. First thing you want to do, open up Premiere Pro and get your first clip into the timeline. This is the clip that's going to be underneath your title at all times, and when we zoom through the title, it will be the first shot that we see. So as you can see here, I've got a clip of a beer being poured. Okay, so let's make the title. Go up to File, New, and choose Legacy Title. Name your title if you want to and press OK. Then the Legacy Title Tool box will appear. First thing we're going to do is create a rectangle and fill the entire screen with it. Then go over to Color and change the color of the rectangle to black. OK, there we are. And now we will go over to the Type Tool, which will create our text title. Click on the title tool, create a text box, and type in the words that you want to appear on screen. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to make your text really large and change it to a bold font. This is going to help us when it comes to zooming in. I'm using Gotham, but you can use whatever font you want. Now, this title does have to be set to white in color, so make sure you do that if it's not default already. In the legacy title, it does tend to be set to a default off-white, so just make sure that is changed completely to white, and we'll be good to go. Make sure your title is centered and then close off the title tool. It will now appear in your project panel and drag that over to the timeline where you want it to appear on the screen. Click on the text and go over to the effects controls. From here, drop down the opacity blending mode and choose darker. And what this is gonna do is make the white text that we've got fully transparent so the video underneath the title will fill that space. So I'll just play it for you now so you can see it in action. Okay, looks great. So the next part is the transition through the title to reveal the full video. And this is the part that would normally be done in After Effects, but as we're in Premiere Pro, we're gonna be using scale and position to go through the title. Let's do it. Okay, so in effects controls, toggle the scale animation and add a slight zoom to the beginning of the clip. This is just gonna be a slow zoom before the transition through the title and it's just gonna make the whole thing smoother as we'll be already moving towards the title and then we'll speed up to go right through it. So go ahead and do that if you want and then find the point that we want to actually speed that zoom up to go straight through the title. For me, that's around here as my song really influences that transition. Once you've found that point, add another keyframe a little bit further along where you want the transition to fully end. And on that keyframe, increase the scale all the way so that the title fully disappears from the shot and you can only see your footage. But if, like me, part of your title is still in shot, you may need to also adjust the position. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So if you go up to the position under the motion in effects controls, toggle that one on and just move the left and right position if you need to, to find that perfect point where the video covers the entire screen. So you may have to play around a little bit with this, increasing the scale and moving the position to get it perfect. But once you do, it'll fully cover the screen and let's have a look at it now. And there we go. We fly right through the title, revealing our shot, which is essentially all we need to do. There's a few things we can do to make it a little bit smoother. I'm going to show you that now. So the first thing we want to do is highlight our keyframes and change the tempo or interpolation to ease out. And what this is going to do is just smooth the in out transitions from keyframe to keyframe and create a smoother zoom. So let's have a look at it now. Now it is a subtle one, but if you watch the before and after, you should see the difference. Okay, there's one more thing we're gonna do, and that is in the effects panel, just search for fast blur, and we're gonna add a fast blur to our title, just to smooth off the edges as we zoom in. Head back to effects controls and find the first keyframe from our zoom transition. Toggle on blurriness and set a zero keyframe at the start of the transition. Moving to the end of the transition, adding some blur along the way. And what this is gonna do is just smooth off the edges of that zoom title and make it look a little bit better. So let's take a look at the final title and see what you think.
And there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if it helped you in the comments section and be sure to subscribe.